Last week I promised we'd do better and we kind of did but we still lost 41 to 22. Big scoreline, we need to keep those down and my plan for that is to take it a lot slower on offense. We've got to start our attack on the ground with the run game. We've got a good running back. Keith Marshall hasn't let us down at all so far. We've just gone away from the run game. This week we will also have to scout college players, which I'll do after the game. And some people in the comments mentioned maybe I should sign Aaron Murray. Now we've got Keith Marshall from Georgia and Malcolm Mitchell, so I thought maybe that would be a nice dynamic to have. And I will look into doing that. We do have TJ Yates on the team because he was injured and I wasn't able to cut him. I don't know what he was doing on the team. So in two weeks time when TJ Yates is healthy, we can cut him and I will sign Aaron Murray. He will probably take the number two spot. Christian Hackenberg is all right though. He has got 95 throw power and decent accuracy, short, medium and deep. He's better than most players across all three of those, although Aaron Murray then is better short and medium, but that's definitely something I will look into doing. He could be a good choice. But for now, we're gonna go on the ground and only pass when we have to. And I think that is going to be good enough for us to beat the Falcons when they come to us at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. And I think we can get our first win of the season today. All right, so we start the game pretty well here. We've got them moving down the field slowly, third and 17 after a hold and a tackle for a loss. And they go short here to Freeman. He gets swarmed pretty quickly up by our defenders and we hold them to a fourth down. So they're gonna go for the field goal. Then we find ourselves in a third and four and Hackenberg here finds Rico Gathers, a nice grab for the ball there actually from him. And not many plays later, we find ourselves in a third and six and Hackenberg here finds Sudfeld, kind of breaks that tackle there, a nice gain there, gets us the first down. And on the very next play, we lose two yards with the rush. The ground game's not been working at all. We go spread here and he's looking for the running back there and that's DJ Foster, the receiving back. He was spread out wide. Goes all the way for the touchdown. No one's touching him there. No one's catching him. That's his first career touchdown reception. Great play from a guy we signed after the season began. And on this play here, a great play from Scooby Wright. Stopping Freeman on the outside run. And that outside run becomes a theme here in this game. And this isn't a first or last play where he burns us on the outside run. And he gets for the touchdown there. So we're now down 10-7. to We were leading. We're now behind. And in a classic style for us, we waste an offensive position. And here, an outside run for Freeman. Trey Flowers holds him up. Akeem Davis comes flying down, tackles him for a loss, and they're on third and 15. And we've got a good opportunity here to make them punt. The pass rush is late, almost gets to him. And then Akeem Davis again makes another tackle. That's fourth down. They're going to punt. And Pharaoh Cooper is back to receive it. He obviously had that big return for a touchdown last week. And he finds space here again, but he gets caught on the outside. But nevertheless, a great return there for a 32 yards and field position like that can't be wasted and here we're on a third and five and he finds Mobo here and he takes a big hit into the shins there as soon as he catches it but he holds on and we're actually gonna go for it on fourth and one here the run with Andy Jenovic gets the first down easily there on a fullback dive and we're in the red zone here we've got to take advantage of this opportunity it's late in the first half and Sudfeld just drops the ball we're still down three points but we've got a chance to go even here and it's sliced to the right we're still down 10 to 7 and now the Falcons actually have a chance to get into field goal position themselves and we've got to stop them doing that can't go down 13 to 7 and we tackle Freeman here as the clock runs out and we manage to get into the half only three points down and here on second and 12 it's a bad choice of a pass but a super unlucky interception somehow the strong safety Keanu Neal falls to the floor and manages to catch that ball and then on third and four we do have a chance to force them into a field goal again here and Matt Ryan just throws it away was it a bad pass did he throw it away we don't know but they get the field goal not a touchdown and now we have a chance to get back here third and ten and it's short but a great catch from Coleman but we're gonna go for it on fourth down again so it's the same play that worked for us earlier and he gets hit behind the line but drags them over for the first down a great play from Janovich and to the right here Mitchell was kind of open but Hackenberg scrambled pure miscommunication between the receiver there and Hackenberg he throws a horrible interception which is a pick six so now they're up 19 to 7 they do actually go for two but don't manage to convert it and so far Marshall has got nothing going on the ground here second and three and it's a run up the middle this time he finds a big hole gets through the middle there gets caught but that's a run over 20 yards a nice rush from Marshall and here we are starting to see some desire from Hackenberg not much down the field there to get the third and four conversion he he goes for it himself, rushes it for nine yards, gets the first down, and here he gets hit, fumbles, he's done that a little too often, but a nice run here from the big guy, the lineman. 
gets tackled by about four guys but turns it from a big loss to a loss of a single yard. So two great back-to-back -back plays where our players just wanted it. Here we just want a first down but Malcolm Mitchell doesn't settle for that. A touchdown here and now it's a five-point difference late in the third quarter. The comeback is on. Great touchdown from Malcolm Mitchell. It's not so impossible to get the comeback anymore and here on third and one is our chance to give ourselves a chance. 19 to 14 if we force a field goal here it's 22 to 14 and a bad pass there the receiver just wasn't looking for the ball they go for the conversion that's 22 to 14 and if we score a touchdown and here is Marshall's run straight up the middle nobody's catching him with his speed no chance at all nobody even got close to him and now we go for two points here and that would take us equal to 22 to 22 and of course we're going to take that chance and Hackenberg drops back looks for Tajay Sharp here gets it short but Tajay Sharp falls into the end zone we get the two point conversion it's all even now late in the fourth quarter and here in third and ten can we stop the Falcons and Ebner here with a weird tackle kind of upside down dived a bit early but he gets it we stop them short they're gonna have to punt here in the fall and here's our chance first and ten and what a terrible throw by Hackenberg those other two interceptions were just unlucky that was a terrible throw and the bad luck doesn't stop here check out this play this was apparently unnecessary roughness out of bounds here and we get a flag it gives them a huge gain and they do actually take that gain for a touchdown and here it is it's all on the line now four seconds left in the fourth quarter fourth and ten our last shot 29 to 22 we need a touchdown and we've got a plan we swing Marshall out that pulls the strong safety down gives Mitchell a pure one-on-one -on -one there and he beats his guy gets the touchdown that's 29 to 29 to finish the game zero seconds left on the clock we get the comeback we're going into overtime and the Falcons win the toss they elect to receive the ball of course they do and we've got them here on third and six can we force them to punt in overtime and he just misses the guy completely so they do punt we get the ball and a chance to score in overtime here and almost an interception thrown there from Hackenberg that would have just been typical but today is not a typical day and here is DJ Foster in the backfield here we've got to get five yards on this rush he bounces is it outside takes it up but he gets tackled just short fourth and one we've already converted two fourth and ones today and we're going for it again the exact same formation but this time they've keyed in on it three guys over the center no chance that play is working we've got to switch to a pass play and we're just looking for Sudfeld here on the out to get that one yard but how about more than one yard Keanu Neal completely misses him and Sudfeld is off to the races he is gone he can walk into the end zone and that is the game winning touchdown week three our first win of the season we managed it we managed it at home and it was thanks to Sudfeld I can't even believe we ended up winning this one who would have thought we were down so many times got back up so many times you can see here on the side we lead in the first we lose the lead in the second we keep losing the lead in the third I don't know if I don't think we got ahead I think we might have equaled we lose the lead again or whatever, I don't even know. And then we score 15 points in the fourth quarter. Six points there with the final touchdown in overtime. And we win 35-29. I promised you the first win of the season here at home against the Falcons, the divisional rival. It wasn't even close to easy. And really today, a lot of it came down to Christian Hackenberg really, really stepping up at the start dropping in the middle a little bit throwing some stupid interceptions and then really stepping up at the end again so a rating of 93.6 21 completions again 33 that's 63 percent completion 291 yards four touchdowns thrown three interceptions so not great there and the longest pass of 55 yards i don't know whether that was the one that won us the game or the one that equaled to take us into overtime Keith Marshall had a tough day today. I think he got to about 15 attempts with about 20 rushing yards or something. He finishes with 21 attempts, 121 yards, a 5.7 yard average, one touchdown, that huge long touchdown, two runs of 20 plus yards and that 65 yard run touchdown. DJ Foster, one attempt that got us to a fourth and one that we managed to convert that final score on. Receiving Zach Sudfeld, the hero of this game, 86 yards to finish it off. Let's the long 55 yards that 55 yard touchdown reception in overtime Malcolm Mitchell really ran the day today he's the one that got the equaling touchdown to take us into overtime four receptions 69 yards two touchdowns 
His final touchdown there being 35 yards. DJ Foster had a very good day as well. Four receptions, 57 yards, one touchdown. Really like DJ Foster as a receiving back. Coleman wasn't as needed today, only 41 yards from him. Tajay Sharp had a bigger role today, two receptions for 26 yards. Marshall had no luck. That was those minus two yards were part of when he was getting only negative yards in rushing as well. And then Mobo had a reception, Janovic as well, and Rico Gathers got himself one too. Akeem Davis again leading the team in tackles. You don't want your free safety to be leading in tackles, but he did a good job for us. Had some important tackles. One tackle for loss there, one for Nate Ebner. Four tackles for a loss for Trey Flowers, but no sacks for anybody. No interceptions either. I don't think we still have any interceptions. We really need to work on that. Farrow Cooper racked up quite the yards here. 134 return yards on the kicks and 90 on the punts. He got some decent returns that helped us out late in the game. And really it was a full team effort here to get that first win of the season. For Sean Payton, we achieved all three weekly goals there. Beat your rival, three passing touchdowns and average three and a half yards per carry. Time to scout players, and after a game like that, I don't think we need any new players. We've got the best team in the world here. No, of course, we definitely need new players. In terms of what we need to scout, obviously we have the needs down here, and absolutely everything is a need. C's and D's all across the board, and I think really we could do with any position. So I'm just gonna scout through first to worst. Well, one thing we definitely don't need is wide receivers for now. We do have plenty of those, and we have plenty of rookies in those positions. So I'm not gonna worry about wide receivers. I probably will end up scouting some later on, but for now I'm just gonna scout all the other positions. And there's all the scouting points used up, a couple of decent players there. Really, it's not the most exciting way to scout, just to scout pretty much everyone. It's also not the most efficient use of points, and I'm not just gonna go completely down the list. I think I will start trying to figure out what exactly I need the most. But for now, at least for the first few times, I think I'll just try and figure out the first round at least, then start scouting more position specific. We are now no longer in line to complete the imperfect season. We've got at least one win, so even if we lose all the rest, there's teams that have done worse than us in the past. Next game, we have the Chargers, who have lost all three of their games. We are now one and two, so we're looking slightly better than them. And then after that, we have a bye week, so it looks like we can go maybe get into the bye week at two and two. I can't tell you how happy I am to finally get the first win for the team, and I'll see you for the next episode. <laughs>